Hey everyone, John Reed here. This is a personal update, primarily for those who have been following this channel for some time. Even if you didn't know her name, our dog Lyra was frequently seen in the background of nearly every Learn to Stargaze video. I've never been one for filler content, B-roll, or establishing shots in my videos, so Lyra's appearances were always spontaneous, but almost always adorable. Except for that one time she tripped over the power cord of the telescope. But as you can probably tell from the thumbnail, Lyra passed away during the filming of our last video. This is her story. We adopted Lyra from a rescue in Foster City, California, just a few minutes south of San Francisco. Based on her record, she was born in 2008 in Southern California. She didn't seem to get along with other dogs at the time, and the original shelter she was in was planning to put her down. She was brought up to Northern California by an organization specializing in relocating shelter dogs, finding homes for dogs that would otherwise be put down. Lyra was not a purebred golden, and many people would ask if she was a Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. The going theory was that she was a mix of both. The adoption occurred in April of 2011, at about the same time I discovered my love of astronomy. Lyra's original name was Maggie. We chose the name Lyra by going through a list of constellations, and the name Lyra jumped out as the perfect name for our new dog. Lyra had a lot of adventures with our family. One time around 2012, when I was using my new Dobsonian telescope in the backyard, she jumped out of my back then sprung through the air, snatching a rat that was running along the top of our fence. The rat dropped to the ground, dead, and Lyra just walked away as if nothing had happened. When our first two kids were born, Lyra would stand guard while they slept, taking on a motherly role. In 2013, Lyra came with us when I got transferred to the Carolinas, then back to California in early 2016. In summer of 2016, on to Washington, D.C., and from there we left for Canada. On our way to Nova Scotia, we stopped in New York City for a walk in Central Park. New Yorkers loved Lyra, with many people in the park stopping to take photos with this bright orange and white dog. I had to assume that there weren't too many dogs like Lyra in New York. While living in Nova Scotia, Lyra got her first real taste of winter, and she loved it. We walked all over Halifax, walking to the Northwest Arm almost every morning, and going to Point Pleasant Park on the weekends, where Lyra would get to interact with many other dogs. It was here in Halifax, during my astrophysics degree, that Learn to Stargaze was born. And Lyra was right there from the start. Here she is in one of our first videos, already in the car and ready for adventure. And if we were in the backyard filming, you could be sure that Lyra would be there too. For the most part, Lyra was healthy until the very end. In December of 2023, she started to really slow down and could barely make it around the block before running out of energy. About five weeks later, she declined to the point where we knew it was the end. Lyra passed on February 2nd, 2024, but not before one final trip to Point Pleasant Park and a trip to Tim Hortons for an old-fashioned donut. That first week in February was extremely challenging, and the house felt so incredibly empty. Our three usually high-energy boys were feeling the pain of loss. With Jennifer working at the city's horse barn, I'm at home all day, most of the time working on Learn to Stargaze videos. It just wasn't the same without my furry companion. I knew there was only one solution. I called the vet and asked if they knew any breeders, and after an intense week of phone calls and a three-hour drive, well, it's time for a new round of adventures. I'd like you to meet Stella. A hard speed you go. Bye. to the city streets, we began to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings. As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young And it's just begun As she puts her hand